matting um you know <gasps> um matting part of it Ugh. guys welcome back to our channel I am doing something a little bit different today and I am actually going to show you guys my higher end makeup products I'm not one to splurge on makeup especially um, on makeup that costs more than $10 but these are items that I have collected over the past year to two years um, maybe even three years but honestly I would get it if it was my birthday, Valentine's Day, anniversary, if it was gifted to me like a gift card, this would be the only time I would actually splurge on myself with regards to makeup. As you guys may or may not know, if you go back some um, videos, I used to do makeup tutorials a lot and I was always known for the drugstore product makeups because, you know, makeup has to be affordable and honestly, how long are you going to be wearing um, one certain product until you find something else, you know, even better. So without further ado, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with all of my um, Urban Decay products. I have a couple here. Trust me. I have way too many. Um, I have... First and foremost, it's the Urban Decay De-Slick Mattif Mattifying Powder. Um, I bought this because I'm not really into putting um, foundation on my, on my face. I tend to get sweaty and really oily a lot quicker than, you know, usual person. So I personally like um, these types of powders as opposed to the um, regular powder that has color on it because I'm not one to wear foundation. So this is what it looks like it's white um it goes on like that it's you know it's white but it, it blends into your skin really nicely it comes with this um this little spongy thing here i've never actually used it i like to use it with a brush but that's what it looks like and of course urban decay and their beautiful packaging so that's one thing that i do have Second thing is, is the Urban Decay, the Vice palette. This is from a couple of years back. I don't really know when. It doesn't even say here, but honestly, guys, I hardly wear makeup now. So I still have this. It's still in amazing condition, but this is another um, higher end makeup product that I do have um, palette wise. As you could tell, there are colors that I like to use more often than others. And honestly, I haven't even reached pan. So um, this has lasted me for a while. Um, next one is the Urban Decay Naked on the Run. This one, I think I showed you guys in an earlier um, video, but uh, this one here is nice because it literally, um, you could take this, this one palette with you wherever. Um, of course, you'd have to bring some brushes with you, but um, it comes with a... Uh, I could say bronzer, blush, highlighter, different types of um, eyeshadows, whether it's, uh, you know, it has like a sparkle or it's matte, has a lip gloss here, eyeliner, and mascara. So this is kind of like your all-in-one. Um, I personally like this one a lot because it's very compact. It has everything that you need. So yeah, this is one I like, and I actually use that often. The other Urban Decay I have is, oh. see look, I haven't even like taken this out of the package, but anyways, it comes with something, is the Naked Urban Decay Smoky Palette. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. This I was actually um, wanting and waiting for, but yeah. Because I'm more of a smoky eye type of person. Um, one other thing is uh, the Sephora. Sephora makeup palettes are actually relatively priced. I think this one was $20. And they're all um, shiny or sparkly. So their packaging may have changed um, since this is uh, from a while ago. But I love this. I love this to just kind of like give that hint of like sparkle in your eyeshadow 
The other thing is, is the Sephora favorites. I actually love Sephora favorites. Um, you kind of get a sample of um, higher end lipsticks, eyeshadows, mascaras, and everything like that. So I did ask Jordan uh, for this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> last year for Christmas um, because everything fell on the ground um, you get a, um, a lip gloss from Smashbox Marc Jacobs NARS and Buxom and you get a lipstick from Bite and Urban Decay um, this is I think this is still available so if you guys wanted to check it out go ahead this is a really really good little um, little package or trial package but i think the smashbox one i think this is regular size to be perfectly honest with you so yeah so there's that i have the nars orgasm um blush i love this blush guys this is an amazing blush if you were to get one blush you got to get this one it's awesome i'm not wearing it right now um, I'm wearing my old Sephora Trio one, but yeah, I do love this blush a lot. Another one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade um, for your eyebrows. Ever since my eyebrows decided to not grow back, I've been kind of filling in my eyebrows sporadically. I'm still trying to um, figure out how to do it, so I've used this. I mean, a little bit goes a long way, trust me. But um, yeah, and I have this in dark brown. Uh, I also have two YSL lip products. Um, the first one is the Rouge Pure Couture in number 19, and it's this color here. It's an amazing, amazing fuchsia. You can tell I hardly use it because it is heck expensive. And then this is the um, tint in oil. And again, it's like a it's like a fuchsia color as well. So when you first put this on, actually, it goes on clear, and then as time progresses, it actually gets darker and more pink. And then last but not least, this is the um, Shu Uemura. Um, eyelash curler I go I think I've been through like so many eyelash curlers and I just couldn't find the right one but honestly guys this was a good investment I think this was $25 and it comes with an extra pad so yeah this could last you for a really long time just make sure you guys clean it I am known to curl my eyelashes after I've already put mascara so yeah this is a really good one so if you wanted to invest in a eyelash curler um, I would go for this one Anyways, guys, that is my um, haul of my um, higher-end makeup products. If you like this kind of video and want to see more hauls of my makeup, or actually just see my makeup collection, leave it in the comment down comment box down below. And always please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.